Hey guys, it's Kinyo here, um, and this is just about the first video in a new series um, that I know, yet another series. Um, this is, um, this is a new series that I'm doing, and it's, uh, it's, it goes in the rest series. I think I put one video up that goes in this before that was a poem. Um, I put some of my poetry under rest, too. Um, I really use rest, though, um, to kind of fill in the areas of everything in my life that doesn't fit into <laughs> the other stuff I have going on. So I often put Kenyo, author, artist, entrepreneur, entrepreneur, or Kenyo, poet, artist, entrepreneur, and um, that is most of me. Um, but there is also some stuff that just goes back to childhood, like and curiosity that I don't get to, um, that doesn't really fit into any of those boxes, and it's really just me. And um, what, fit, what, what that really is, is I've just always been really curious, I've always been interested in math and science, and um, so I wanted to create a series, and I've been working on it. You might have seen some of the different things, I sometimes Instagram posts, I'll do some things with that rest and that really just comes from me thinking about um, how I carry myself and how I decide to be um, as, a, as a person and the things that I, I work on, wh whether it's um, in relationships or when I'm working on myself and who I want to be and how I want to grow and how I think about the world. And it's a lot of philosophy and it, it has like elements of, of science in it and different and thoughts of math and space and light and time. Really, there's a lot of time stuff, time travel, time machine. That's something that I'm working on under rest and you can check that out. Um, there's there's more on rest under project4.tv, my website. Um, but this is still separate from all of that. These videos, I wanted to take a time to get more personal, just about some ideas that I'm having, and hopefully some of them, they resonate. And from the title of the video, I'm sure you can get that. Um, right now, I've been thinking about the idea of rest, and it hit, it hit home, so this was a good time to resonate it and start this series up. I'm probably gonna do another video pretty shortly um, in my other series, How to Understand Poetry, because I have my new poem, Ownership, um, that I've put up, and that's about all the NFL, Colin Kaepernick kneeling stuff, and just my, I, I sort of landed on that stuff, so I, I put up this poem, Ownership, and so I'll probably do that next, and that's when I explain poems and stuff, how to understand poetry. But anyway, so in this video, um, I, I was basically, the way this whole story started about an hour ago, I've been I've been working today and I'm in this lovely space and I was just I don't, I don't I don't know it just got to a point in the day I wasn't hungry I wasn't anything but you know you just feel like moving sometimes you feel like um your your thing here is done and it's ready to go and you're you're like oh where where's the next thing and that's how I was and I it kind of brought me back to the understanding that it's so easy for us to sometimes fall into these um, one second. Just making sure I'm still recording. It's happened to me where I'm not, so. Um, but <laughs> it's so easy for us to sometimes fall into these, uh, these, there's lots of streams going on. There's, there's lots of flows, I think, available to us in life, you know? Roads, um, lines, all these things that, that all, all, all of these um, things, and we feel like we're, we become very reactionary because of it. Uh, that's where road rage comes from, you know, someone who's who's getting in your thing and you, you automatically react in it. Um, and sometimes it, in, in the same way, we can just be doing something, working on something, then we become restless. Uh, restless, I think that's cool. That sums it up. Uh, we become, you know, we, we become we needing to move. We want to jump into one of these streams, whether it's playing around on the Internet, jumping on Netflix. Um, and I make streaming content, so I understand that at project4.tv, so that's why I take it so seriously, the stuff. If I'm going to make a stream for you to jump into, then I'm, I'm going to take it really seriously. 
Um, but anyway, there's all these different things going on all the time, different opportunities, this business, that business, this new idea, that guy's book, that person's philosophy, that this person's whatever, um, how your parents raised you, um, something that's affecting you with the relationship, and it's a strong pool. And I think um, very often we can jump into those streams at the, at the sacrifice of what is meant for us in our moment, in our time. And, um, and um, some of the ideas, I, I put this whole, this, this scribbling here is my very intentional pseudo-intellectual backdrop for you right here. Um, but you can kind of see how it plays into what I was saying. Like I've always just loved um, math. And so sometimes I'll just bring out different ideas and, and I'll use different things that I read in math. I've been doing a lot of quantum physics reading or listening to podcasts lately. And I'm not a scientist. I don't have any math degrees or anything like that. So my understanding, sometimes I don't even understand what I'm reading, but I've just, I just like the stuff and I, I do extract some things and I, I, I like to write on dimensions and stuff like that. I've always been interested in those things in a casual sort of way where I just pull little bits of it and I use it to collect my understanding. You see that super hideous drawing there. Um, I've always, uh, I, I've, I, not always, but you know, for a while now, I've, I've liked dimensions and there's different theories on dimensions. They go to different, some say there's infinite, some say there's seven, some say there's eight. I'm usually of the opinion that there's seven. My opinion doesn't matter, one second. Okay, but that's my usual opinion. And um, so that's what I have there. And I sort of did some visualizations, you know, the first three dimensions we understand with depth length or with height length or depth width. I, I don't know, whatever. And, and then after that, we have like the fourth dimension time. And, and then, you know, there's other stuff um, that you can say that they go into. And I, I have my ideas on. I like to think about it. And sometimes I like to try to draw them. So that's what I have there. Um, definitely don't, don't take that and try to do anything with it. You'll, it's not going anywhere. But um, <laughs> it's a visualization that helps me think out some stuff. But I was just thinking about that and why sometimes it's, I think it's so important for us to remember that, you know, we can chill out. And when I say we, I mean I. I have to remember sometimes that um, it's not always about moving on to the next thing. And I think sometimes we're so eager to move, so eager to be caught up in someone else's thing that we miss what's in the moment for us. Even sometimes, you know, maybe at networking events that I go to, I, I try to remember, hey, you don't need to just jet out. You know, um, you're, why do you, and this is the thought I had when I got, when I got out, cause I did leave and I said, where am I right now? You know? And I realized that there was a panic inside of me. We, we, we get panic because we've set up all these tensions and we want to execute and we want the day to be useful and moving feel so useful. Um, especially when we don't know why we're staying and we don't know what we're missing and and then we move and then we miss the thing. The tension was there, but we could have resolved it. Um, stillness allows, I think, um, stillness uh, and dreaming and rest allows us to become a processor of the world. And if we can not um, jump into the idea that we need to move or solve our tension with random movement. We can solve it um, internally and get some gems out of it. One of the things I wrote here is we accrue interest when we don't move. I think by being still um, and intentionally still coming back inside of ourselves, and this sounds like a bunch of hippie stuff, but I'm just trying to communicate the idea that sometimes maybe it's work that we were meant to do. Maybe we were going to get a reach out from a friend. Maybe we were going to remember an idea that we forgot. It's just not necessary for us to jump onto those things. Rest is our resistance. I wrote that because I think that, yeah, we need to resist some of these other streams right now. The other ideas that we're getting from everywhere sometimes, and that's not always the case, but I think um, I'm, I'm just trying to communicate that thing to 
reminded myself that sometimes we're there for ourselves and you know I, we need to be there for ourselves and stillness is the fastest speed that was um that stillness is the fastest speed is an interesting idea to me that came from the idea or uh, you know, i was toying yesterday with the idea just in my head of speed and then i googled some stuff but we often don't think about um we don't think about our because we use speed less as like an intellectual just like reality like how fast we're moving it we more just use it like a, as a communication tool right so if you're in a car and the car is moving 60 miles an hour you would say yeah I'm moving 60 miles an hour right and but how fast then you know right now sitting here in this place you would say oh i'm sitting down i'm not moving at all right but we all understand that i'm on the planet earth and earth is rotating at a certain speed and not just that uh it's orbiting the sun and the sun and all the other planets in our solar system are orbiting the milky way our galaxy and our galaxy is i don't know orbiting some like massive black hole in the center of our galaxy cluster and then i don't know the rest i don't know how far it goes but maybe the galaxy cluster and i'm the cluster might even be the wrong word the galaxy cluster is like moving through space i'm sure and maybe our universe is even moving like a trillion times the speed of light who knows how fast we're moving i'm sure scientists have an idea and you could probably google it but you know we don't we, that's not what we mean when we say speed we're just using it as a relative term so that people you know as a communication thing most of our language it's not you know empirical it's just for it's just for like understanding communication purposes um, and i think that stillness sometimes can be the fastest speed because when we're not getting involved in all these other um, these other things for us i think we can come back and um, and have an understanding of speed and we can make speed matter if, if we put it in terms of a speed towards a vector or a velocity um or trajectory i'm gonna google these words after that means something to us um, on our dimension which is higher than i think you know the regular three dimensions of speed i think you know, and wherever human understanding is, we definitely understand time. So we're definitely at least past the fourth dimension. We we have an our intentional, our destiny exists. On there's places we're supposed to go. Our journey, um, one step in that direction, two steps, three steps in that direction is more important, and that speed is more important. Moving in that direction, which might not be moving at all. That is more important than finding whatever taco you're looking for because you're you're bored and you you want to just do something. You just want to get out. Or you just want to go find some food or something. And um, I put um, intentional motion has a cost and should be seen as an investment. I think that's really interesting. Intentional motion. If you're deciding to move because you're restless. You're investing, and if you're investing in nothing, your return will be zero, which means you're losing out on on your time, your your investment. Whereas, like I said, we accrue interest when we don't move, when we can just, I didn't even notice interest, interest, rest, okay, in, rest is in the word interest, all right, whatever. We accrue interest when we don't move, um, when, but if we intentional motion has a cost and should be seen as an investment, think about what you're investing in. If you're going to an event, good. That's an investment. You're making an investment in that event because you think it's important. If you're going to your friend's thing, you're making an investment in your friend. If you're going home, you're making an investment in your because you need sleep. So that's worth it. But it, all these things have a cost. So we shouldn't move just because we're submitting to chaos because we're submitting to a random idea, because we feel lost, because we feel panic. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Okay, so that's the idea that I had, and uh, I hope I get to share more of these kinds of ideas. Uh, I hope I didn't get too passionate on you. I just started drinking some coffee, <laughs> and it's getting pretty late, but um, thank you for checking out this first video in this series. I hope that I get to do a lot more because, like I said, this really is something that's more, not more me, but it, it's parts of me that 
um, that I don't put in other stuff and it really just lets me jump into my curiosity about the world and and um, the different things that I read in my own spare time and listen to and and um, it's definitely an older version of me than a lot of uh, other stuff because I didn't start writing poetry well I wrote my a few first poems in, in, in elementary school um, but I didn't really get serious about it until um, I was about 18 or so and even then I had been writing for a little while but to me it was all I was doing serious philosophical research and then I just realized that they were so short and sparse that they'd be better off everyone just thought they were poems so I started to think of them as poems, and I started actually more pursuing the the context and the um, the medium of poetry because I do think it's very useful to discuss some of these metaphysical things. Um, so, um, anyway, I, I this this series uh, is called Rest. I I hope you enjoy it, and I hope I get to do a few more. Um, and thank you for sticking around for this one. Check out the next one and check out the How to Understand Poetry. I'm going to go into my poem ownership. I might have some guests on it, actually, on that one. Ooh, I think I might have a real a guest on that one. That'll be the first time I have a guest on that series. Okay, uh, I'll check you out later. 